What is up, everybody? Craig is back. Looks like we have Hex versus Sniggly. Fun fact, Sniggly used to uh, live here and since has moved away, but uh, glad that he's uh, here today. Always fun to watch him. I remember uh, when his Bowser was, was up and coming, and now he is uh, a force to be reckoned with. Looks like uh, he's struggling to, uh, to get this figured out right now. He needs to find a way to get back on stage, and that is going to hurt great tech to stay alive. And Trying to trying to flip the stage, but put the pressure back onto Hex, but Hex finds a way to make it back. And man, aerials when that big blue monster is out there so strong, takes first stock. Snake is trying to uh, trying to uh, looks like Snake's trying to keep a little bit of his own, making um, you know, Hex Hex come to him. Good job with the command grab, landing on the platform, but at 131, good DI either to stay alive from Hex, but I think this is gonna have to do it. Yes, it is. Stacks evened out, and a little bit of a percent lead from Hex. Great parry into the up -beat. And now the uh, Snake trying to put some pressure back on. Aha gonna do the continuous damage on the Snake. Grab, good job with that. Um, with the, the throw in the combo. Did he, man, I thought for a second he might have did a little bit too far there, but hey, what do I know about playing Bowser? Great read there from Schnick to uh, throw up the throw up the claw with the, uh, the up tilt. Gonna take the stock lead, 113% on him. But hey, Bowser being a big boy, if he plays his cards right, he can make this last quite a bit. Um, especially with Hex uh, still still a bit away from our center coming out. I'm just really impressed with the way that Snigley has been putting the pressure on him, making it really tough for, for Hex to get back to the stage every single time he's, he's fallen off of it. And not just the offstage pressure, um, not necessarily what I'm talking about, but just doing a great job of, of reading and making the predictions and covering many of the get-up options he possibly can. Tries to go for it all there with the spike, costing him. Uh, so he's going to have a lead, but hey, stock lead when it comes to percent, not when it comes to stock. Both of them here on their last leg for game one. Here on there. Oh, I think uh, Gucci's got to throw you on. There you go. Hello. Now everyone can talk. Shingly. Shingly eliminated me. Fun fact today. Oh. Really good player. Yeah, so he this is. This is last hit and last talk, basically. It's on stage with the uppie. Got some pummeling going on. Hex playing, okay. Yep. Trying to get that back air to get him off further. No way that. It's not going to do it from center stage. Schnickley, uh this is game one, right? Yeah, he yep. seems to get better at edge guarding uh, as it goes on through the set. He's done a great job so far. I would just talk about that before you got here. And it's, you know, not necessarily, of course, not really Bowser's forte to, to chase you off other than with the, the forward air, but everyone kind of knows to, to avoid that when they're playing Bowser now. But. Right. Not quite yet. Um, but he's done a great job of just uh, reading every single get-up option and making it tough. All right, yeah. We got our send now. Uh, one hit away, both of them. Yep. What read's going to happen first? Oh. X gets uh, Schnickley off stage. The counter takes him out. Yeah, that Bowser is uh, just unfortunate. So, Bowser just so vulnerable uh, with his recovery there. How big right. of a hitbox it is the whole time is out. Um, you know, that, that's one way to really take advantage of him when he when – he, when he's trying to make it back to stages, if you have a counter right, like that, right. you're, you're gonna be in a good spot. Yeah, I said unfortunate, but like, uh, you know, Hex definitely uh, get, got the timing there. He went out and used his character to his advantage. He got yep. the win. Got that W, that's what matters here. And DTT, 90. And Blunder, 90. by the way. I'm Craig. Nice to meet you, dude. You too. Yeah, so Schnickley eliminated me, uh, and then I played in Losers next. Uh, uh, and I played another Bowser, so and lost to him. So uh, Bowser's are my uh, bane today. Yeah, and there's a lot of them uh, here in the state. That is for darn sure. So Let's see where uh, Hex took him to FD. 
Definitely, you can get more uh, chain combos. Well, I would think uh, he'd not want platforms, but maybe he's just counterplaying uh, Schnigley here. Well, no, Schnig lost, so Schnig picked this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. <laughs> so, yeah, I was going to say, don't go to platforms with Joker. He's going to get combos, especially Hex, a uh, player of his caliber. Right. You know, a lot of places, um, I'd imagine he, he probably banned a couple of tri plats. I know that Bowser players really, really like those, especially with that. Never take a Bowser to Battlefield. Just yes, exactly. He grabs you, gets that command grab, gets you on the top platform. You're done right, yep. so early. But yeah, nowhere, nowhere for him to land here and smash you other than the, the main stage. So right, yeah. might have been a. Now I'm wondering what his, I'm wondering what uh, Schnig was thinking when he did that. I don't think he really struggled last game with the platforms. Although uh, a lot of times uh, Joker's do like platforms too, especially if they can get you in the get you in that grappling hook and. Drag down with the up air too, but nice up tilt. That was up tilt. Yeah. That was a great job with that up tilt. And uh, you know, fun fact that is a it doesn't look like it should be disjointed, but it is. You throw that fist out there, and that has, does not have a hurt box on it. Are you kidding me? No. Every Bowser move is disjointed. It's yeah. Huge limbs. I know. It just it's one of those moves that doesn't seem like it should be. He doesn't have a sword. <laughs> it's, it's his right, arm. Right. Why can't I hit his arm? <laughs> but Sigler with the lead, but he's off stage. High percent. Gonna get edge guarded by Gun. Uh, comes back on the ledge. Giving a low percent nair combo. Uh, that threw his R7 meter up real high, and there it is. Blue juice all filled up, and Arsen out to play. Right, he needs right. to make take advantage of him soon, and he does. Nice back there. <laughs> okay. Did that poke shield there? Or did he just try and parry and miss? I can't tell. Uh, I'm not sure. Try to get the two frame. Unsuccessful. This is uh, Hex is in a bad position right here. Yes, he two frame, two frame. Oh, goes for the fair read, but misses. Now he's in disadvantage. Doesn't matter. He's at zero percent though. Yep. And parries that last hit of gun. Strong up zone right off the side. Wow. wow. I did not check percentage before I did that, but that, that did seem early to me. But hey, yeah, he was like at one twenty. So okay. That was yeah, that's probably the only spot he could have dropped him on there was to. Yeah, to right. If he was a few, a few spots back, he probably would have survived that. But right, right. good job for Snake for, uh, for for that placement. Hex uh, opting not to go for the edge guard there, stays on stage for the ledge trap. Gun, you, gun abuse is my favorite kind of abuse in Smash Bros. I'll tell you what. And it is crazy that you know how powerful that gun can be. The fact that it puts you into hit stun is it's actually right, insane. Right, exactly. Okay, gets the two frame with the fire. Down tilt misses the two frame. He's tried that a few times and has been punished every single time for it. I don't think he's gotten him with that up Oh, with the flame, yeah, because he's, he's waking up and just shielding. Yep. Excellent foot stool there. Great job there with the two frame and then immediately with the with the command grab. Hex on his last stock at a high percent against Bowser. Not looking good for him. He's got to pull this out, get a kill. He's got to get this get figured out right oh. now. And he, wow. He does not. Explosive off stage is Bowser, man. Yep. It is insane how big that claw reached to that forward air. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Now that they're going to game three, right? Yeah. Yep. We'll see where uh, Hex takes it. We lost. Right? Yep. Yeah, okay. I get confused when I'm commentating. I'm like, who's the stage big? Who's yeah. the like bands, right? Just go to On It. Go on that. Dreamland? Dream Boy, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love Do that it. stage, actually. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Back to PS2, uh, you know, it seemed like he was pretty comfortable with this the first game. Um, you know, although it, it did drag out to essentially the last hit by the time they by the time they got there. So. Yeah, that's a stage I wouldn't take either of them. But both of those characters are seem pretty good on the little hats in the middle of the stage, which we call platforms sometimes. <laughs> but those hats uh, form a protective barrier, um, so Bowser can do up tilt on. Oh, we got a hex DK. Wow, switching it up. We got a big boy matchup for game three here. For game Winner's three. Round two. Wow. Down tilt. Combo. Fire's going to hit him, but oh, he almost armored through it. What's the ledge trap? He <laughs> really Not wanted that one. Read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Uppy. Oh, the fair read. Ooh, I thought that was going to kill, too. So I know that, um, you know, Stigley, before he, he moved away from Michigan, he would practice a lot with uh, KTE, especially when this game first came out. Back when KTE did main Donkey Kong. So uh, I, I think he's got a pretty good idea what this matchup is like. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I'm sure Hex doesn't know it. He's also from out of the region, uh, recently moved here, I believe. 
Uh, so, yeah, he doesn't have the regional knowledge there on that uh, matchup. Uh, nice back air to stuff from? out Did the jump. Did he go to Ohio somewhere? Hex? Yeah. I think was, I saw him with an Akron. Yeah, it was definitely somewhere, somewhere not Michigan. It was south, but in the middle, to, mid uh, or mid, Midwest. Or the, the no, north Akron's, south. Akron's got, I think it's Ohio. Ohio, Ohio's yeah. best player right now. Toast is out of Akron. I don't want to say. Yeah, Hex was, I believe, on the PR and spent four. Okay. He played Sonic, I believe. If it's a Hex, I remember it. Right, we got some back airs coming out. He's got a stock advantage on Schnick, but he's got to get on stage. What's it going to be? Oh, that killed. He may have been able to mash out of that. I don't know. Up tilt, down tilt. Try to get the player at the approach. Uh, DK's, um, DK's dash attack is so big and so quick. How much that stage covers. Yeah, you can get a lot of momentum with that dash attack for sure because it rolls and it sets you up for another advantage. Oh, that <laughs> Bowser running looks kind of funny actually. I'll be stuffing out the jump. Jump on shield aerial. Oh. What is Fire going to do here? Lucky he, he jumped right there because he was go about to be so deep in that ground. Right, yeah. All right, we got almost a kill here. Is he going to live? Oh, wow. get back in by Hex. What a way to bring this thing back. I think he only took a few percent that entire stock. Right, yeah, yeah. It was a uh, big stock favor there. Okay, Baird almost tried to get the read. Is the edge guard going to be the ledge trap? Jumps over an air dodge. There's a neutral air dodge. snake has got Hex off stage. Fire. Bowser breath, whatever the thing is called. Oh my god, he just what tough, just happened just there? Man through he, did, the did neutral he really beat. just tough air through that? Oh my god. Tough man. I don't know what it's called. Tough but guy. he yeah. is a badass and Bowser's really cool. <laughs> did he Man yeah, right through that neutral beat. Yeah, I, it, apparently he just I knew tough guy made him tough. I didn't know what made him that tough. Yeah, Holy that was crap. insane. Very impressive <laughs> for Schnickley to know know that. Or just, just went for the aggro option and got lucky there, you know? And I was totally expecting, I was totally expecting Bowser to be flying backwards, yeah. and then when I saw CK go in the other oh, direction. Oh, the fairy! He doesn't gotta jump. Oh, he's gotta jump. Okay. Is he gonna make back it? Back Does. Oh, Schnigley with a back air read. Man, exploiting DK's uh, recovery. I think it's one of the most more exploitable ones in the game, and really taking advantage of there to. Yeah, both to those make characters for sure. Three. Right. Stock three, game three. That was.